So I don't know if you saw, we covered this, but this is interesting because the AOC and progressives warned Biden not to put corporatists in his, in his, uh, after they pledged their vote for him, now they're going to be wagging their finger at him after he doesn't need them. So this is all performative theater by someone like her. So that's, that's all this is. And they're warning him to, uh, to not put corporatists in his, in his cabinet. Uh, hey, here's a headline for you. Biden eyes GOP candidates for cabinet seats. <laughs> I guess he didn't heed that warning. Boy, am I shocked. <laughs> I, I, I hope AOC gets an, an even more sternly worded letter that she doesn't even give to Joe Biden. They didn't even give that letter to Joe Biden. <laughs> I think we're about a week away from a Biden-Trump unity ticket, honestly. That's, that's what that says to me. <laughs> Among the names being floated for the Biden cabinet posts are Meg Whitman. <laughs> she she didn't she wasn't successful in the state of California. Why would I want to see her now? She lost her race to be governor or senator, or whatever. Governor. She, governor to a Democrat. Joe Biden's like, fuck it, you're gonna come, we're gonna give you a, a raise. So if you're on the wrong side of history and issues, you get you succeed in American politics, just like Joe Biden. On the wrong side of every history, every issue in history, and he gets to be president. Look who else he's looking at. He's going to look at Meg Whitman, CEO of Quibi, and the former CEO of eBay, John Kasich, former Ohio governor, both of whom spoke at the August Democratic National Convention. Can you really call it the Democratic National Convention? There, it's dead. There's no... Also, Charlie Baker, Massachusetts GOP governor. Jeff Flake, former Republican senator from Arizona. Charlie Dent, former representative of Pennsylvania who resigned from Congress in 2018 and became a lobbyist. These are the people Joe Biden are going to put in his cabinet. He's going to put in his cabinet. It sounds like the guest, guest list for the most boring party ever thrown, or it sounds like the Democratic National Convention. <laughs> There's so many Republicans in there, I thought it was the DNC convention. <laughs> a spokesperson for the Biden transition stressed that diversity of ideology and background is a core value of the transition. Okay, that's right. We want to have representation from both the far right, the religious right, the (laughs) neo-fascist right and the center right. Am I right? (laughs) Biden eyes GOP candidates for cabinet spots. Progressives fret slots as Joe Biden's transition team vets a handful of Republicans for his potential administration. Big. We're a big tent, but not that big. It's not big enough to include progressives. Yeah, we could have a cabinet full of Republicans, but not one progressive. It's not that big of a tent. And, and you know what, Jimmy? You're not going to get a Mexican in that cabinet either. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Progressives say it's too big to risk to install conservatives in any agency in a current political environment. That's what that letter says. So I'm, I'm assuming they're pretty bummed out about the options for president then. <laughs> These progressives... <laughs> Because that's all you're getting. Jeff Hauser, director of the Revolving Door Project and an advocacy group founded to scrutinize executive branch appointees, said, in addition to having more than a decade of corporatists running domestic policy to the detriment of everyday Americans, we also need to confront a generation of unhinged militarism and Mm. mass illegal unconstitutional surveillance. Wow. There are relatively few people from either party who are likely to be great on those issues. So Biden will probably just make it as shitty as possible. (laughs) Vote Biden. If you can't hold Biden accountable for the cabinet he's thinking about picking before he's even elected, how on earth will you hold him accountable when he's in office? The answer is you're not going to. Oh, spoiler alert. You're not going to. I'm so glad I sat through four years of conservatives getting everything they want to see the next four years of conservatives getting almost everything they want. Maybe one day the Democrats will let the rest of us be happy. Maybe if we work, if we keep voting for them for doing nothing, it will work. (laughs) Obama adds that we've already done this, by the way. 
It didn't work. Biden was literally there to see it not work. Obama adds another Republican to his cabinet. President-elect Barack Obama has picked GOP Representative Ray LaHood of Illinois to be his nominee. There it is. Barack Obama to appoint Republicans. To... We've already done this. It didn't break the fever. What do you do? What do you get when you put Republicans in your presidential office cabinet? You get conservative policies, right wing policies. LOL, Joe Biden can't be pushed left. He was installed specifically to push the Overton window back to the right, and he publicly announces it with glee, you fucking assholes. Mm. It's almost like when you have the same party, when you have uh, two parties that have the same owners. You've got it all wrong. All the Republicans he's interviewing for cabinet positions will definitely push him left. <laughs> And all the billionaire donors, 133 at last count. Very glad I voted Democrat to keep the GOP out of power. Just a reminder, even if Biden wins, we will still have a Republican in the White House. <laughs> so there you go. There's your, there's your voting for Joe Biden to make sure you get rid of Republicans. <laughs> okay, suckers and chumps. If you think voting for Joe Biden makes anything better, you're a chump and a sucker. It actually makes things worse. Hope that helps. Uh, Trump's ICE deported half the people Biden's ICE deported, just so you know. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. <laughs> 